My name is Lindsay and I'm the Corporate Baker for Doyon and Newview. Today I'm going to be talking about the BTF series of mixers for Doyon. So the very first thing that I love about this mixer, it's going to seem really simple, is the whip. So between these three tines, there's actually a little bit of extra space. So it has the ability of the ability to be able to get all of that product inside. So today I'm doing a little bit of a demo on some whipped cream. And this will show off another feature that I really love about the mixer. So, even if I start this mixer on a relatively medium to high speed, as you can see, it has a slow to start feature. So if I had a lot of flour in this mixer, it's not just going to blow up in my face. It's going to start slow and then eventually work its way up to the speed. And as you may have also noticed, I went up to speed 10 there. So as opposed to a conventional three speed mixer, or a seven speed mixer, I have the option of 20 different speeds. Now that may seem like a lot, but between three speeds, maybe speed one, two, and three just isn't enough. Having 20 different variable speeds gives you a lot of options. And a second thing you may have noticed is that I was able to change the speeds while the mixer is actually mixing without doing any damage at all to the machine. So the reason for that is because this is a belt driven mixer instead of a gear driven mixer. So I'm not breaking the gears by moving around the speeds. So belts are incredibly reliable. They're also easier to replace than a gear and they're incredibly inexpensive to replace as well. Another reason that variable speed is so important and a reason why I chose to make whipped cream is because when you make something like whipped cream or meringue and you have it to the point of where it is completed and you don't want to over whip it, if I was to have to stop the mixer and lower the speed, I'm at risk of deflating, them, of deflating the meringue or the whipped cream. Here, I can simply just reduce my speed so that the whipped cream is still mixing, not deflating itself as opposed to having to stop it in completion. Um, another thing that I love about this mixer is the all stainless steel attachments. I have the beater here and the dough hook as well. And I know that I'm only making whipped cream today, but these mixers have some of the highest horsepower on the market. So our competitors actually have half of the horsepower as this machine right here. We have one horsepower and our competitors have a half horsepower in their unit. So this machine can handle something as light as a whipped cream, but then handle something as heavy as a bread dough because of its high power motor, its horsepower and its high torque. And then one of the last reasons why I love this mixer so much is how easy it is to place the bowl on. I know that that may sound like something you take for granted, but... So on the back of this bowl, there is nothing that I need to try to fit into any sort of crevice into the mixer itself. I simply have a little plate right here that I place on the back of the mixer. One last thing, I don't know if you noticed, but this entire time that I'm talking, this mixer is incredibly quiet. I can barely hear it over the sound of my voice. These mixers are created in a wide range of sizes. We have a 20 quart mixer right here. Right next to it, we also have a 60 quart version. Goes all the way up to 140 quart as an option and as low as 10 quarts as well. We have all of these products and more available on our website.